Hey, I'm Fat Mike, and today I want to talk to you about the... Ooh, yeah. I know, I'm a little behind on talking about this machine, but today I actually want to talk to you why you should actually rethink the Ouya and why it wasn't bad for what it is. So, let's get started. Here's a little bit of backstory about the Ouya. There'll be a little bit of jump cuts because I do have to read a little bit of information. The Ouya, it started as a Kickstarter in March of 2013 and hit retailers on June 25th, 2013. So the machine is no longer around. It's a micro console. Their whole concept was free gaming. If you like the game, then you can pay for it. You can see the downfall of that. And on July 27, 2015, the Ouya was no more. Actually, the leftover stock, and if I'm not mistaken, the software and everything was actually sold to a different company. Now, I wanna talk about why people should actually rethink the Ouya. It was an okay machine, it's small, if you can see, fits nicely in the palm of my hand. It was a sleek design. The games on it were a little on the weak side. They had some really good games like The Cave from Double Fine Production and a couple other ones from Double Fine. The lady who made Portal made a game called Soul Fiora, which I got and I enjoyed it. It was okay. I'd actually like to see that ported over to a different console. And I did download a hockey game, which I can't think of the name right off the bat. Two on two hockey. It was a fun little game to pick up and play for a bit when you wanted something different. The downfall of the Ouya is no real big, big, like, third party developer actually wanted to work for this by the looks of it. We did get a Final Fantasy VII port on this and some Sonic the Hedgehog games. Um, like the ones that you get on the Xbox and the PlayStation and the Wii. So without any big third-party developers like Call of Duty or anything, it was bound to be obscure and vanish into oblivion. But do you blame the third party? Do you think that they want to give away a Call of Duty for free? So I don't blame them. But I will talk about some good things and why you should actually relook at the Ouya. The controller. I do want to talk about the controller. Here it is. Looks familiar, doesn't it? It looks like an Xbox controller. You have the two bumpers, if I can show you. There you go. A little touchpad for a mouse, because it is an Android device. Let's not forget about that. You have two joysticks, D-pad, and your buttons actually spell out Ouya. And the biggest pain in the ass about the controller is it feels cheap. It feels very light, very cheap, but it still plays nice. It's comfortable in my hands when I do play it or when I talk about my next segment. It fits nicely. The biggest pain is where the battery compartments are. They're actually wedged under these little metal cases and there's one on either side. It's a little bit of a pain in the ass to get out, and I've actually cut my hand open getting them out. So that was the downfall of the controller. But everything fits nicely with magnets, screws and magnets, and they don't really fall off. The controller has fell off my couch and desk and stuff before, and these actually stay on. It's very rare that they fall off. So, with the negativity on the Ouya behind us, Let's talk about the good stuff. Emulation! I know, some people cringe at the word, some people disagree. You can actually hook up an external memory source to this and actually fill it full of ROMs and actually have a really good emulation station. Now, if you live in a tiny house, you know, like one of those little tiny houses, put a picture right here. If you live in one of those, this would be the dream electronic for you. Why? Not only because of emulation, but you can download XBMC or Kodi on this and actually stream TV. If I'm not mistaken, you can also put Netflix on this and it already has Twitch. So all in one. I know it's a gaming machine, but that's a pretty good selling point if you ask me. 
I was going to buy an Android box until I found out how to actually get Kodi and XBMC on this. It's a pretty neat machine. Going camping in a camper, this is a pretty sweet idea to use. So then on top of that, let's say you hate emulation. Emulation is terrible. Let's say MAME. You don't like how people emulate Super Nintendo, Sega, PlayStation? You can do that here. You can also use this as a MAME machine. Originally, this was my MAME machine until I built my MAME box. So in the end, I honestly don't mind the OUYA for what it was. For $100 at the time, it wasn't bad. You get some little corny games, a lot of games for free, a lot of independent games. If you love indie games, why don't you give this a try? I highly recommend it. If you're looking for an Android box, why not pick up an OUYA if you can pick it up for cheap? Lately on Amazon, they have been going for more than a hundred bucks like I paid. Back when I picked it up, probably in 2013, I picked mine up and I've had it since. I don't ever plan to get rid of it. I use it for streaming. One time I used it for emulation. Uh, I used it for MAME emulation anyways, but I really highly like this. You can download ROMs straight from the internet right to the OUYA, which might come in handy. So altogether, I highly recommend giving the OUYA a second chance because it has some probability. Sure, you can buy a Raspberry Pi and do the same thing, but this comes with a controller, and it's not even that bad of a controller. And I think some critics are just assholes. What can you say? So that's my two cents on the OUYA. It wasn't a very long video, but I just want people to give it a second chance. Use it for more than just gaming. It's actually a really nice piece of machinery. The menus work really nice it's easy to use not very confusing so give it a second chance hey if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you didn't because you don't like my ugly mug on your screen give it a thumbs down <laughs> you don't have to like everything on youtube follow me on instagram and twitter subscribe to pale productions for other videos at least two videos a week friday being bottoms up and during the week an extra video or more Anyways, until next time, remember, game on, have fun, and stay crazy, my friends. Thanks for watching.